this is uh, a simple file to uh, go from a um, from a string to an ord list and then from an ord list to to a string and so um, um, as you should know from looking at Zelly if you take the um, ord of a character you get the corresponding uh, number numerical representation of that character and if you take the CHR of the um, numerical representation you get the character back again and so these two functions uh, the first one str to ord list takes a strg string as an argument and it returns a list of um, um, numerical representations of each character in the string so to demonstrate that I'll, I'll go over here and um, we'll copy that and then I'll go strg equals home sweet home so that's that's the string and uh, if I um, assign this um, the output of this function to a list what I'm doing here as you look um, over here I'm returning the value as a list and so this comes back as a list here and I'm assigning it to another list in fact just to be um, um, use distinct uh, symbols for the names for the list I'm gonna call that L1 and if I do that and then I um, type in L1 I get the um, ORD for each of the characters in here. So capital H is 72, little o is 111, little m is 109, little e is 101, and then the space is 32, etc., all the way up to the exclamation point at the end, which is 33. So now this function <coughs> goes in the opposite direction. So if I do this, and I put L1 in for the argument so or list a string um, goes the other way it takes a list um, of um, numerical representations of strings and gives back the string so just to demonstrate that you get home sweet home again take a look at these functions and make, make sure you understand them um, they both use um, a for loop that in the first case traverses a string and uses, uses an empty list as an accumulator then returns the list of numerical representations of each string and the second function this one takes a list with the um, numerical representations in it and uh, iterates through traverses that list and uses an empty string as an accumulator and then returns the string. 